One spring morning, the fat controller brought a photographer back to tip the sheds. He had a special announcement to make. This Easter, there is to be a holiday poster for the railway, said the fat controller, and I need an engine to be on the poster. James snorted. I hope you're not going to pick Thomas again, he huffed crossly. Remember what happened last time? Cue flashback. Jane was talking about the time when Thomas was chosen for the New Year's Eve poster. He was excited until he saw Brian. Thomas thought Brian was trying to ruin his photograph. But Thomas didn't see that it wasn't a photographer. It was some holiday makers taking photographs instead of a photographer. But Thomas didn't know that and spent the rest of the day trying to delay Brian for doing something he thought he did. Like blocking a cow to block Brian's track. But that didn't work. It just ran the name of his driver. He tried delaying Brian even more by dawdling, but he only got into trouble with his driver. He even ignored Brian's warning. Brian was only trying to tell him that the trap was closed for repairs up to Sodor Ridge, but Thomas thought Brian was trying to play a trick. So he crashed through a barrier and made it so he came off the rails over some broken traps. <laughs> Don't worry, said the fat controller. That's his punishment. I'm going to pick any engine, but not Thomas. That's his punishment. The engines were excited, but James was sure that his photograph will be taken. I look wonderful on the poster, thought James. The engine on the Sodor Railway poster will be... Edward, announced the fat controller. Edward was delighted. But James couldn't believe it. He was sure a red engine would be just the thing for the poster. Why? It's just an old iron, he huffed. The photographer tried to take a picture of Edward, but James got in the way. James, leave the shed now, ordered the fat controller crossly. James puffed sadly away. By the end of the day, the posters were seen all over the island. But James still wanted to be the poster mentioned. It's not fair, he grumbled. Why would that old iron Edward would be chosen instead of me? James puffed. Because, puffed Henry, Edward always knows how to handle trucks. Yeah. And he doesn't mind what jobs he's doing, Pete Percy. And he's always reliable, responsible, and really useful, added Stepney. And he's always on time. <laughs> Not like you, James, sniffed Thomas. That made James very cross. Why? Edward's just an old iron, and I can do all those things better than him. Just he wait and see. I'll show you all that I'm good enough to be in the poster. The next morning, Edward, Thomas and Stepney were working in the yards. Edward liked shunting. It was fun playing with trucks. He would come up quietly and give them a push. Then he would stop and the silly trucks would go bump into each other. Oh, they cried. Whatever is happening? When James arrived, he came up quietly, but give the trucks a massive bump. Oh, 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 groaned the trucks, not again. See, I can come up quietly and give him a bump, just like Edward, puffed James. Beat that old iron, now I'm good enough to be on the poster. Nah, 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 nah. But Edward finished a long time ago, teased Thomas. He already finished the shunting. He came up quietly, but give him a push. But he did came up quietly, but give him a massive bump. Edward is very careful too. His load is ready very easily, while yours take a long time to be sorted after that big bump. That's why Edward's supposed to mention. Bother, said James. 
and he made the way to collect the Scoots train. Later, James was racing to Mammoth Station. He was trying to be faster than Edward. But his hopes were soon dashed. His driver was suddenly taken ill. He could hardly stand. So the fireman uncoupled James' flatbed so that James could shunt it into the siding. But first, he went to phone for a relief man. <laughs> Why is it always shunting I have to do? Suddenly, the signalman shouted. There was James puffing away down the line. Wait, where is he? Oh wait, there he goes. Oh, I guess he didn't run away. Oh, traffic halted, he shouted. Then he told the fireman what had happened. Two boys were on James's footplate fiddling with the controls. Oh my goodness, that's my handkerchief. Oh, here we go. They tumbled off and ran. When James started, the signalman answered the telephone. Yes, he is here. Right. I'll tell him. The inspector wants you to meet him at the airfield. Lightning will take you to the countryside and while he might on Harold. Why? wondered the fireman. Beats me, but you better meet him quickly. <laughs>